Hi Sugar Plums, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another story time. I know you guys love my story time. So I'm here with another story time about boy because you guys know I used to be a little hoe and I usually get myself into a lot of situations especially involving boys. So this story is a little fun, it's a little different, and it's actually about the time that I got played. Like, I mean, full on played. And before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn those post notifications on so you can be notified every time I upload because, you know, I'm uploading a lot these days and all week I've been wanting to film. I know I'm probably gonna upload this on Sunday. And let's just get into my eye makeup really quickly before we get started. So I'm actually wearing the Pop Beauty Light eyeshadow palette and I'm literally obsessed with glitter and these are just so beautiful. And my eyebrows have been botched for like three months. I have not been able to get my eyebrows done for a really long time and I have really, really bushy eyebrows unfortunately. So I have just not been able to get my eyebrows done and it's killing me. So I haven't been posting on Instagram or anything um which is why i haven't filmed a updated makeup routine i know you guys really want that and i promise you it is coming and i just mastered a new foundation routine so i'm really excited to share that with you guys but before i do any of that i'm gonna need to get my eyebrows yeah. done so where should i begin first of all i need to give this person a name so the name for this person is gonna be hmm to be too shady with the names um, because some of you guys might know who this is about. Maybe not. Probably not. But if you've been following me for a really long time, you might know who it's about. Because I was really public with this person for a little bit. But then I stopped being public with this person because I got played. That's a whole other story. Well, that's the story what I'm going to get into. We're going to name this person... Jackson. Yeah, we're gonna name this person Jackson. So this was back probably my junior, this was my junior year of college. I know all my stories go back to college. That's how crazy I was. But this was my junior year of college and I've only had probably about a year's worth of experience with boys. So I've only been dating boys for like a year. And I don't even think I had, I don't, I've never had a boyfriend at this point. So this is before I even had a boyfriend. So um that's why i got played because i was so excited to finally get a boyfriend and all that and i missed all the red flags possible and i mean this person was so messy like so messy oh so, me and this guy started talking because we had a mutual friend that went to my college this guy did not go to my college at all he was friends with some people that went to my college and that's how i was introduced and every day during lunch at college we i would sit with a group of people and they all knew I was like boy crazy. I was always talking about boys and I was always talking about like wanting a boyfriend and all like you know what typical like gay people talk about I feel. I really wanted a boyfriend and I really wanted to feel loved. So my one friend was like oh my god I could put you on to my friend Jackson. He would be really into you like you guys would be so perfect for each other and I'm gonna set this up. So she literally set it up so quick. So quick like I mean so quick we were texting in like 10 minutes so 10 minutes go by we start texting and he's like really into me and like like i said i've never dated a boy at this point i've only talked to boys and by talking i mean double guys on grinder so i didn't really have a lot of experience with boys um so i was really naive that's a good point i was really 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 naive and i really got played because of it Also, if you guys want to know where I got this wine glass, it's all Louis Vuitton monochrome. I will be leaving that down below in the comments because I've been getting a lot of questions about that on Instagram and stuff. But I'll leave that in the comments if you guys are interested in that. It's really, really pretty and it's blue, so I love it. It's continuing. So me and him started texting and at the time I was really, really naive and I didn't have a lot of experience with boys. And this guy, like, was so forceful and, like, so aggressive and so, like, into me. So I thought... I didn't, I saw that as a good sign. I was like, oh my god, this guy's obsessed with me, this guy's into me, like, oh my god, I've never had a guy feel so strongly about me, and like, I mean, guys, this happened instantly. Within two hours, we were like, no, honestly, he was obsessed with me. Like, I wasn't even, like, into him, yeah, like, I was into him, but I wasn't, like, that into him, just because, like, I'm used to, like, hooking up with guys on Grinder and, like, talking to guys, so I wasn't 
used to guys being that into me, if that makes sense. Um, so I just wasn't expecting that. So we're texting, we're texting. We're getting along. Let me start FaceTiming. He's FaceTiming me all day while he's at work. And I mean, we're FaceTiming for hours, like hours. And I'm just like into it. I'm like, wow, he's really into me. He's tall. Like he was just really cute. And like, no, honestly, he was average. Looking back, he was like average. But like at the time, I thought he was really cute. And at the time, I was just really desperate for a relationship. Sounds so bad, but I was like pretty much desperate for a relationship. Because I, like, I just really wanted someone to claim me. I really just wanted someone to be like proud to show me off. Like, you know, being a boy that wears makeup, it's very, you get judged a lot. And like a lot of people, not just straight people, but um, gay people judge um, me for wearing makeup and stuff. So I just was in a place to just feel love and acceptance. And I wasn't getting that at home with my parents. So I was just really, really lurking for that. So we're texting, we're texting, we finally meet up two months later after we, maybe a month, I'm gonna say we met a month later, like during like winter break or something, and we went to go, we went to my friend's house, and the friend that like introduced us to each other, we went to her house, and we like met there and hung out. But that friend gets really, really messy because that friend all okay it's just such a confusing story so his he also he had friends at my school but his best best friend also went to my school but his best best friend didn't isn't the one that set us up it was his other friend but his other friend didn't tell his best friend about us if that makes sense but we'll get there so um she leaves us in the room together and like we probably met for like five minutes i think we were like literally 10 minutes and guys i know please don't judge me i'm just being so transparent and open and honest with you guys I am normally not this easy and I would never be this easy again and like I have I hold myself to such a high standard now and like I'm almost really embarrassed of what I've done if that makes sense so she leaves us in a room for like 30 minutes and things happen we didn't have sex because I'm sure that's what you guys think but we did not have sex other things did go down and that should have been a red flag um because we just started talking maybe a month ago and you're seeing me for the first 10 minutes and we're already hooking up I don't know, I just felt like that should have been a red flag. I mean, obviously I don't mind a kiss, but I don't know. I just feel like I should have held back a lot more than I did. But I thought this guy was so into me. He was FaceTiming every day. He wanted to talk to all my friends all the time. Like, he was very controlling, I guess you could say. And I took that as him being really, really into me. So, guys, just because someone is controlling doesn't mean they're good for you. And just because someone wants your attention 24-7 or is like constantly trying to talk to you does not make that a good thing. That means they're trying to control you and you should probably pay attention to the red flag so you don't so you don't wind up in a situation that I involve myself in. Happened. So we spend the whole day with him and his friend and well our friend because I was friends with this girl too and we're having so much fun. It was perfect and I just felt like really good about us. I did kind of felt like he probably was talking to other guys because we just started talking and I get that. Like we just started talking. I'm sure you were talking to other people before, but I was almost positive that he would kick these boys to the curb for me, you know, like, so I wasn't really pressed. I was like, you know what? I mean, like, how could he not want me? Like I was definitely like very confident in myself and it's really good to be confident, but I was too confident that I thought I wasn't being played. Yeah, so, um, birthday was, like, two months later. So we're still talking. We probably talked for a total of five months. So after a month of talking, we hung out. And then two months later, his birthday happened. And for his birthday, we went to the neighborhood in Philly. And he spent his birthday with me. I slept at his house and everything. So I thought, like, I was the one. Like, I thought, like, I was the one he wanted to be with. Like, why are you spending your birthday with someone you don't want to be with? Why are you hanging out with me if you weren't interested? Like, I was just so confused. So we go out to the neighborhood. We're having a good time. I'm, I'm having a good time at least. And I got really drunk. Everyone knows I get really wild sometimes and I like to have fun, but it's not, it's not like trashy fun. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I mean, I guess it could be a little trashy, but it's like fun, you know, it's all in a good fun. And he was so angry the whole night because I was just being social and I was just being fun. And he was really angry with me. So I remember we went back to his um, house and we didn't hook up. Um, we went right to bed and I kind of thought that was a little weird that we didn't hook up. But I know the next morning we woke up and he was really annoyed with me because I guess I snored all night. Yes, I do snore. I have to admit it. I really snore a lot. and It's so bad and it's so embarrassing. And... 
I know. All my friends know it. My boyfriend knows it. Like, we know. So, if you ever sleep with me or anything like that, I snore. So, <laughs> FYI. But, um, he was really angry with me and just kind of rude. But, like, it was fine. Like, he wasn't, like, that annoying. But this guy was telling me things about himself, like, the night before. That he was, like, really into sex. And... He was just really, like, into a lot of things that I necessarily wouldn't be into. Like, he was really into, like, group stuff. I'm like, oh, geez. I'm sorry to my younger audience if you're watching this. I'm so, so sorry. Like, please don't judge me. Like, I'm just really trying to share a story for you guys because I want my sugar plums to stay safe and I don't want you guys getting screwed over by any fuckboys, you know? So, um, I'm just warning you guys. So, he was into a lot of things that kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but I was like, you know what? He'll change for me. So... Don't try to change people because you can't. So, um, continuing. So, about a month later, we had formal at, um, my college. We have formal, which formal is, like, pretty much prom for college people. Um, and he was going with his friend, his best friend that didn't know we were talking. So, we were pretty much being a secret. Um, and we went to this formal and we had to pretend we didn't know each other even though... Some people knew that we were talking, like, very, very few people. Like, my best friends knew, and then, like, the one girl that hooked us up knew. So it was very, very limited. And we pretty much ignored each other the whole night. But then there was this other guy that was, like, trying to hit on me there, and then they got into a huge fight. It was just this whole thing. But at this point, no one knew that we were already talking. So I go to the dance floor. I'm shaking my butt, you know, doing my thing. And the guy, Jackson, comes up to me, and he's like you look so good, like, you look so hot, like, trying to grab me up and, like, grope me and, like, you don't touch my ass, all those kind of things, and his best friend, the one that didn't know we were talking, comes up to me, throws me to the ground, and screams at me and tells me to get off his best friend and, like, just really, like, embarrasses me at formal. I literally love formal crying, like, hysterically. I was so upset, and... I was just really hurt because it's like I was really cool with that guy too and he like really like was really mean to me in front of everyone and like screamed at me and he was making me seem like a terrible person and it was weird because it was like me and him were friends. So it was just really strange to me like it was like why are you so upset and this guy's straight so this guy isn't even like a part of the community or anything his best friend was just gay so I'm like why do you care about who your gay best friend dates like are you into him so I was just like really annoyed so I left crying hysterically um but later that night I found out the next morning that Jackson and his best friend wind up getting into like a fist fight be over me pretty much and I was just like okay wow this guy is really passionate about me like obviously I don't condone violence but him being so passionate and so like I'm staying with Kenny, like, Kenny's my man, like, whatever. Or, like, that made me kind of feel good, because I'm like, wow, he's fighting for me. He doesn't care if he, like, loses his best friend because of that, which I kind of, like, don't want anyone to lose their friend, but, like, the fact that he was that serious about me, that he was willing to risk his best friendship, if that makes sense. So, during that occasion, the friend, well, during that occasion, Jackson told his best friend that we've been talking for a while, and... He doesn't plan on to stop talking to me, so that did not sit well with the best friend. Um, sips to you. So then, me and him get breakfast the next morning, we're hanging out, and everything's peaches and cream. Everything's peaches and creams. But I forgot to mention, during this formal, me and Jackson took a picture. And at this point, I've never went public with anyone I was never in a relationship or anything like that so this was like the first guy that I would be like public to if you know what I mean this the guy begged me to post a picture of him on Instagram begged me and was like we're, we're official now I'm like post a picture of me like we're together and I'm like okay well if you post a picture of me like I'm not an idiot like I'm not gonna post a picture of you unless you post a picture of me I know I have pretty large following online and like I just wasn't comfortable posting him if you weren't if he wasn't gonna post me I don't want to seem like you know, a side hoe. Well, I wind up really being one. So, after enough convincing, he convinced me to post it. So, I posted the picture. And it was a really cute picture. It was a really cute picture. I really wish I still had that picture. I don't know where it is and I can't find that picture. Um, which is probably a good thing because I don't wish I had the picture. But I just wish I had that to, like, insert here, if you know what I mean. But, so, I upload the picture like a dummy. Like a complete idiot. I upload the picture. And... <laughs> 
and literally everyone's so happy for me so I got a lot of good feedback and guess what the bastard didn't post a picture of me um he told me he would post it the next day and he never posted a picture of me so I went public with this guy who doesn't even want to claim me so this is just a whole problem so then I start researching on Instagram I start doing my detective work and I start like you know stalking who's liking his pictures and like who's commenting on his stuff like I start doing a lot of research why don't you want to post me What's going on? Are you talking to anyone else? Who else are you talking to? So I find out that I saw a guy that was liking his pictures and commenting on his pictures and like they were just too flirty. You know how you could just tell like they were just too flirty and I knew something was up. But that person that was too flirty with him was the friend that set us up cousin. Which means the friend that set us up knew that her cousin was talking to him so why would she set me up? with a guy that her cousin's talking to. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, why are you setting up, why are you setting me up with someone that you talk to? No, why are you setting me up with someone that your family member talks to? That just sounds weird. So it's a little hard to believe because like, why would a cousin do that? So I'm like, maybe I'm just really reading into it because you guys know I can be a little overdramatic. So I was like, maybe I'm really just reading into this. Maybe it's really not what I think it is. And whatever, so I do a couple more researches. I confront the girl, I confront, Jackson and they swear up and down it's nothing it's nothing it's nothing like that it's nothing like that da, 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 da. okay so then I just won't let it go I'm being honest I just wouldn't let it go I just I know when I'm being played so I delete my Instagram picture and I'm just like what is going on like who else are you talking to like because clearly you don't want to post me for a reason you don't want to let your other hoes know that you got another boy so he is like well I'm gonna be real like I talk to a bunch of people, like, I'm not supposed to be not tied down to anyone, like, I'm gonna talk to whoever I wanna talk to, yada yada yada. And I'm like, well, I wish you told me that before you made me go public with you and decided to drop me. So he gets frustrated. He said he talks to a lot of people, and here's a hurtful part. So he wound up admitting that another guy that he was talking to worked across the street from his job. So I'm thinking. Me and this guy are on great terms. He talks to me every single day. He FaceTimes me all day while he's at work. There ain't no possible way he's talking to anyone else. I'm always with him. And I'm always talking to him. Like, how is he talking to anyone else? The other guy literally works right across the street. So, of course, they're hanging out lunch breaks. I'm sure they were hanging out after work. Because, like, this guy lived, like, an hour and a half from, like, where I was. So, I'm sure, like, they were hanging out a lot more frequently than I thought. And, you know, I just wasn't with that. So I have a meltdown. I'm like, I'm not going to talk to you while you're talking to other people. I have high standards and I'm just not a backup option. It's me or that's it. So me being the confident, strong person that I am, I decided to end things with him. Well, no, he actually decided to end things with me, I guess, because I was a little crazy. But if wanting to be your only person makes me crazy, then call me crazy. But... I wasn't feeling that. So we stopped talking and fast forward, we stopped talking for like two or three months. Fast forward, our school had a block party and a lot of people from outside of town and like a lot of people's friends that go to our school come. So I pretty much knew I would be seeing him there and I'm pretty sure he wanted to see me there or else he would not have shown up. So I, I was expecting to see him there, if that makes sense. So you know, I had to kill it. I had to look cute, I had to look great. And I probably have some pictures of that day, maybe not. So I usually get really crazy at block parties. But anyways, I knew he was going to be there. So, you know, I was dressed to kill. My face was beat. Like, I was looking great. So I see him there, and I expected him to give me the cold shoulder. I expected him not to talk to me, and I expected him to pretty much ignore me because that's what boys do. Nope. He comes right up to me. He's like, I miss you so much, baby. He starts kissing me. I love you. Like, I've been missing you for so long. And I'm like, whoa, is this the for real? Like, and I'm, guys, I was very naive. I was very, oh my God, really? Like, that's just me. I'm a very gullible person. A very, very, very gullible person. And any of my friends will tell you that. I'm such a gullible person. So I'm just like, I'm really just believing it, if that makes sense. And we had an awesome night. We partied together. We had literally a perfect night. And he, the entire time, he's like, I love you, like, I'm so sorry what I put you through, like, I thought it would never happen again, this, that, and that. Alright, booze, this is another thing. They're telling you these things while they're drunk, it doesn't mean it's not true, but 
as someone are sober because a lot of the times guys say things when they're drunk just to get in your pants. Guess what, sweetie? You ain't getting in my pants. And it's funny because before formal, he slept over and he was trying to hook up with me, like, go the full way. And I was just like, no, I'm not doing that because I'm the kind of person that, at least at the time, I was very, like, if I'm talking to you, talking to you, I'm not going to, like, have sex with you because I want you to, like, date me first. But obviously, I did hook up with people in Grindr, but... I'm saying, if I were taking you really serious, I'm not going to just put out that easy. Because then you'll get what you want and bounce. So I wasn't doing that. So, next morning. This is where it gets juicy. So the next morning, um, after the day after block party, I wake up in the morning and I get a text from him. And he's like, hey, want to meet for breakfast? So I'm like, and he wants to take me to breakfast? Ugh. This is everything. So I'm excited. I'm like, I'm getting my boy back. This is great. We're a cute couple. Like, I'm happy. So I'm like, of course. Um, we go to breakfast with like two other people. Um, and I feel like they were all texting back and forth because it was just, now that I think about it, it was just so weird how it was happening. But I felt like they were all texting each other. Like, when are you going to tell him? Like, all this stuff. So I'm sitting there. We're all having a good conversation. And both of them, the other two people get up and go right to the bathroom. Like, at the same exact time. And then he breaks the news to me. Hey, like, I know what I said last night. But I didn't mean any of it. I look at you as a friend. And I'm like, what? Like, you were just obsessed with me yesterday. Like, how are you, like, done with me already? Like, I just don't get it. Then why even kiss me? Why try to make out with me? Why try to be all over me? Why do all of that? And he's like, I don't know. Like, I was just like... You're hot, obviously, but I think you're crazy. Like, you're, you're just missing a few screws. And I'm like, what? You're the crazy one. You're the one that can't commit to me. Like, how am I the crazy one? But okay. So he literally pretty much shatters my heart into pieces and literally walks away as as if he didn't say anything the next day. Or as if he didn't say anything the night, the night before. Like, I'm telling you guys, when we had the night before, he was perfect. Like, the best night ever. And then the next morning, he was done with me. So I'm just like, boys are crazy. Like, players gonna be players, and I'm not the one to be played. But honey, Abu got played. So I got played, and he was just like, he's not looking for anything right now. And then literally the following week, he was in a relationship with someone else. So, moral of the story is you can't trust these boys. Always do your research, honey, until you feel like you can really trust them. But anyone that you talk to, make sure you're doing your research. Make sure they're not talking to anyone else. And honestly, it's okay to talk to other people. But once you guys make the next step, they should not be talking to anyone else. Yet. Unless you guys are into like poly relationships and all that, which is okay. But I'm more of a monogamous person. Um, so yeah, I just wasn't cool with that. So he literally shattered my heart into pieces. And I was, like, just, like, so butthurt. So sometimes when I would get drunk, I would text him and I would be, like, I don't even know. I think I would, like, kind of, like, be mean to him when I would text him. So one night, no, it only happened once. But one night I texted him and I was, like, hey. And he was, like, hey. And then I was, like, what's up? And then he was, like, what's up? And then he was, like, I miss you. Like, he was, like, being nice again. But this was, like, months down the line. Probably, like, six months down the line. And we're talking or whatever. And then I get so drunk, like. When I get crazy, when I get drunk, I just, ugh, I'm reckless. So, I call him on FaceTime, and I'm like, hey, why are you being so weird? Like, you don't even miss me. Just, like, being, like, you know, annoying. And he's like, nah. And then I'm like, well, you're just rude. So, I was pretty much asking for it. And he was like, well, at least I don't look like a cartoon character. Like, because I, like, over-edited my pictures a lot at the time. He's like, well, at least I don't look like a cartoon character. Yada, yada, yada. And was just, like, attacking my appearance. So... Long story short, me and this guy are not talking anymore, and he played the hell out of me because I was posting him online, being so public with him, and he had a whole other man on the side, and my friend was the one that set me up with this guy knowing that he was dating her cousin. So, more of the stories, I don't talk to him anymore, obviously. I don't talk to the girl anymore, and it's actually really unfortunate because I really, me and her were really, really close, and, like, I really did like her, and she was from my hometown, like, um, Delaware and we both were at a school in Pennsylvania so like I really liked her because we were from the same area we knew a lot of the same people so I really did like her and I was just so shocked that she would even put me in that situation because everyone knows like anyone that knows me knows that I'm like really dramatic and I really wear my heart on my sleeve which is a good thing but it can also be a very very bad thing but I'm just one of those people if I feel something I feel it and I really just show that, if that makes sense. So, I'm not the kind of person that you'll just hook up with anyone just because you know I'm, like, high maintenance and you know, like, 
you don't want to screw me over because I'll find out. So it's just like, you just, most of my friends would never do that to me. So I was so shocked that she did this to me. Like, so shocked and so hurt. Like, I was, I'm like kind of still hurt about it to this day. But you know what? You live and you learn. But yeah, booze, that is the story. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little short story time, but I love like talking to you guys about boys and all those things. Even though I have a boyfriend now, I did have a lot of experience with guys in the past. So I do have a lot of knowledge I could give you guys and all my friends come to me for guy advice. So I just want to be like the big brother to you guys. And I really want to just help you guide yourself into the right direction. So you're not getting screwed over by these fuck boys because they're everywhere. And especially during quarantine, they're trying to talk to everyone and because they know they don't really got to meet up with them. So you know they're talking to everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching you booze the right way. But um, anyways, I love you sugar plums so much. And comment down below if you think I did the right thing by like being the detective and <laughs> finding out research and finding out if I'm being played or not. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've had a similar experience too. And I love you sugar plums so much and I'll see you in the next one.